When I came to Vietnam in 1967, I couldn't find Vietnam on a map. I'm Chuck Searcy. I'm from Athens, Georgia. Came here because I'm a veteran of the war. Ended up staying, working on humanitarian projects related to the consequences of the war, which is unexploded ordnance. UXOs, unexploded ordnance, another dangerous legacy of the war that continues to kill and maim tens of thousands of Vietnamese, especially here in Quang Tri province, near the old DMZ, demilitarized zone, where more bombs are believed to have been dropped than in all of World War II. Many of them were cluster bombs, each containing hundreds of these small bomblets. The Defense Department estimates that about 10% did not detonate as designed. So when they fell to the ground intact, uh, now today, 40 years later, they're exploding and they kill and maim people. A former community newspaper publisher and political consultant, Chuck Searcy's new mission and encore career involves teaching the Vietnamese how to find and safely dispose unexploded bombs, like this cluster bomb spotted by a farmer at the edge of his rice paddy, less than 50 yards from his home and children. Project Renew is what Chuck calls his education and bomb removal operation. He runs with the help of Bui Trong Hong, a former North Vietnamese Army colonel. Adversaries during the war, they now work together as allies, trying to make Vietnam safe. In addition to their bomb disposal teams, Project Renew has set up educational programs for preventing accidents and mobile prosthetic services, along with occupational programs for the unfortunate victims of UXOs. The real challenge in Vietnam is not how to clean up every bomb and mine, but how to make Vietnam safe. But that does not mean that every bomb and mine needs to be cleaned up. It means that people have to understand the problem they have to be part of the process of solving the problem, which is to know how to call in explosive ordnance disposal teams that will come immediately and clean up the ordnance that they found. While the United States government and several veterans organizations work on meaningful ways to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War, there are a handful of American vets living and working here in Vietnam on cleaning up the dangerous legacies left behind from the war. I think the most appropriate, the most meaningful commemoration of the war for us Americans would be to come together to help Vietnam make this country safe from cluster munitions and other ordnance like this. Could be achieved, we could have full closure.